Hi, uh, I'm Yutaka Saito from National Cancer Center, Tokyo. Uh, I present uh, Jane's diagnosis and correct EMR and ESD, no COI. Uh, first of all, I'd like to explain the PIT pattern and NBI classification. As shown, PIT pattern classification is now widely used in the world and clinically useful for the prediction of histology. Type 1 PIT, uh, typical for normal chronic mucosa, and the difference between type 1 and 3L PIT. 3L PITs are tubular and PIT, larger than normal type 1, and typical for tubular adenoma. Type 3S PITs are smaller, downish PITs, smaller than type 1 PIT, and typical PIT for depth type 2C or LSD non granular type. Type 5 PITs correspond to carcinoma and subclassify to type 5I, low and high grade, and type 5M, non structure. The part of type 5I, high grade, and 5N corresponds to SMD invasive cancer. 5I, Invasive PIT pattern is defined as 5i high grade PIT observed in a demarcated area. And this invasive PIT pattern corresponds with SMD invasive cancer very well. Now the area lined with yellow dot showing the highly regular PIT in demarcated area diagnosed as invasive PIT pattern corresponds to some cause a deep invasive cancer. In contrast, right side polypoid region showing a type 4 PIT correspond with uh, low grade intermucosal neoplasia. And the demarcation area is defined as more than three millimeter in non polypoid growth cancer and more than six millimeter in diameter in a polypoid growth cancer. The demarcated area is different due to the tumor morphology and tumor development. It is really important to diagnose the cancer depth invasion. Uh, I'd like to show one uh, interesting case, the very small type zero to A plus two C region. After a new carmine dye spray, the demarcated depressed component could observe. The size is less than five millimeter in diameter. The pit pattern of this depressed region, smaller than type 3S, very irregular, distorted pit pattern. It's called uh, five i severe irregular. And this 5i invasive irregular micro pit pattern proposed by Dr. Nakamura. And it's different from type 3S. It's smaller than type 3S and irregular, much more irregular than the 3S pit. The typical invasive pit pattern observed in this kind of depressed cancer. And this region was operated by surgery and some cause a deeply invasive cancer. So don't perform endoscopic resection even for these small regions. And recently, image enhanced endoscopy, narrowband imaging and A5 defined as optical image enhanced endoscopy. IEE has been developed at National Cancer Center in collaboration with Olympus Medical Systems. Our big boss and colleague developed the NBI and for the, uh, using the clinical trials. Uh, the NICE classification is now well known in the West. However, the problem in NICE classification is that the type 2 include various regions from benign to invasive cancer. In addition, the type 3 could be easily diagnosed by conventional white light. Uh, 38 Japanese experts rose up in order to develop a unified magnified NBI classification in 2012. Uh, most of these pictures were taken in 2011. 
and all looks younger than now. So finally, a genetic classification was unified and published in Digestive Endoscopy in 2016. Uh, as introduced before, the PIT pattern is the gold standard for cancer depth invasion. Therefore, the PIT pattern with chrysalvite staining is still necessary for genetic type 2B lesions. I would like to show some of the basic cases using JNET classification and the PIT pattern. JNET type 1 corresponding to hyperplastic poly or serrated lesions and no indication for endoscopic resection except for SSL. Consists of no vessel pattern and regular dark or white spots. And histology, hyper plastic poly. Typical hyperplastic poly in the left sigma, whitish small flat regions. NBI show no vessel pattern. With magnification, JNET type 1 and pit pattern after endocomandite spray type 2 pit pattern. No biopsy or no endoscopic resection. Uh, this is a very flat, subtle region. NBI show genet type 1, but in the center of slightly depthed component, uh, regular vessel pattern could be observed in this area. Pit pattern could be type 2. After embryo resection, surprisingly, the cancer exists in the submucosal layer and tumor surface covered with SSL. The invasion depth is less than 1,000 micron, no infovascular invasion. So finally, the curative resection was achieved. However, it's really surprising for this very subtle. In the white light, it's really difficult to delineate the tumor margin. But after the common dye spray, the margin became apparent. And after deflation, there are some converging folds and with small depressed comp component with redness in the center. Uh, this is uh, just a finding for suggesting some irregular findings. The feature of SSL with dysplasia are reported by uh, Dr. Murakami from Juntendo University. <coughs> As I reported, the double elevation or the depressed component, and the nodule, redness, and type 3, 4, 5 pit pattern are typical for dysplasia. How to treat SSL regions? Maybe more than one centimeter, you should dissect them. And with redness, depression, nodule, type 3, 4, 5 pit, uh, they should be dysplasia with SSL. So those regions should be dissected. And serrated polyposis showing the high incidence of carcinoma. So the patient should be surveillance every one year. Genet type 2A consists of regular vessel and regular surface pattern, suggesting low-grade dysplasia. Now, typical tubular adenoma. In the white light image, uh, redness. And in NBI, the region visualized as brownish area. And with magnification, a regular mesh, mesh vessel and surface pattern could be observed, suggesting uh, JNET type 2A and tubular adenoma. And the size is less than one centimeter the cold snare polypectomy would be enough. How about the resection for small corrector adenoma? Less than five millimeter. Sometimes could be uh, followed, up, followed up without endoscopic resection. More than six millimeter or to see dijon showing type five pit should be resected endoscopically or surgery. And Resectoral knot for diminutive tubular adenoma 
could depend on the surveillance interval. Now, Dr. Sekiguchi, our colleague, reported the incidence of advanced colorectal neoplasia in individuals with untreated small colorectal adenomas diagnosed by Pete Carter. Uh, this study showed there was no difference for the incidence of ad advanced colorectal neoplasia between the group of this all resection and no resection for the small adenoma. Uh, so, from this uh, retrospective study, the diagnose and no don't resect strategy could be considered as an alternative management option for the small corrector adenomas. Oh, how about large LSTs locating the ascending core? This is 02A LST granular. The vessel pattern regular, surface pattern regular. So, genet classification type 2A, suggesting low grade adenoma. After in the common dice spray, the pit pattern type 3L and 4, suggesting tubular adenoma. After some cause injection, the region lifted very well. And this region showing the very low incidence of carcinoma. So, the and block EMR could be possible by day surgery. The histology showed the tubular adenoma. The, even for the, this region could be three centimeter LST granular type, homogeneous type, but the, in order to do this kind of the really nice EMR technique, don't do a biopsy, especially for this kind of flat region. If you take one or two biopsy for this region, kind of region, the EMR could be difficult and you should select the EST technique. Genet to be is clinically very important. You find as irregular vessel pattern and irregular surface pattern suggesting high grade carcinoma. And genet type two region, to be region, could be some cause are deep invasive cancer. So for the accurate his, um, cancer depth diagnosis, we need to perform the pit pattern using crystal bias stain. That is because the pit pattern is still superior to magnified HBI for cancer depth diagnosis. This is a reason. Uh, this is a very large circumferential LSTG, granular, granular. The, this nodule showed the irregular vessel pattern, irregular surface pattern, the genet type 2B, su suggesting the carcinoma. A pit pattern showing type 4 pit. So this region could be intramucosa, despite of this uh, large size. So we could perform the M block ESD for this region and histology revealed the focal cancer in tubular adenoma. And the cancer invasion depths limited in intramucosal layer. So curative dissection was achieved. How about this small 1P regions? For this kind of region, also, magnified NBI and pit pattern is really important. Genet classification type 2B consists of irregular vessel pattern, irregular surface pattern. And the pit pattern is really important. And this region could be covered with normal mucosa, so NPG type cancer. And the pit pattern with endocarmine could be type 5 but the irregularity of type 5 pit is really difficult to judge only from endocarma. That's why crystal white staining is necessary. After crystal white staining, the highly irregular distorted pit pattern could be observed and NPG glows. So 5i invasive pit pattern suggesting some causal deep invasive cancer. 
how about the treatment? This could be SM2. After some cause injection, how about the non-lifting sign for this region? Maybe you, you think the region is lifting well, but it is not true. If we look carefully, this area doesn't change. But the region is small. Uh, we performed the day EMR for this region, but black ink tattooing was done for additional surgery. Histology was some causal deep invasive cancer. Vessel invasion was positive. So the surgery with lymph node dissection was necessary. Mm. And JNET type 2B could be some causal deep invasive cancer. So PIT pattern is finally most important. And uh, this is a result from our prospective mouth center study. The compared non-lifting sign and endoscopic diagnosis. Now from this prospective study, non-lifting sign showed the same high diagnostic specificity of 98% for cancer depth diagnosis. However, the sensitivity of non-lifting sign was just 61% compared to 85% of endoscopic diagnosis. So non-lifting sign was not so good for the endoscopic diagnosis. And the most important thing is JNA type 2B lesion could be some causal deep invasive cancer. So fit pattern is really necessary. JNA type 3 consists of loose vessel or amorphous vessel pattern and amorphous surface pattern suggesting some causal deep invasive cancer. So surgery was necessary. This is a lower rectum 1S region. The surface is irregular. Even from conventional view, we suspect some causal deep invasive cancer. JNF classification could be uh, vascular amorphous surface pattern, genet type 3, suggesting SMD. Now, for this region, pit pattern is not necessary clinically, but after crystal bite stain, you could observe the highly regular distorted type 5 and pit pattern. Usually, surgery is recommended for T1B cancer, but in the lower rectum, still there are uh, poor QOL after surgery is one of the problem. In this case, we perform the diagnostic ESD first. But of course, as a matter of course, the histology revealed the deep invasion, no lymphovascular invasion, but in grade just one, uh, as the resection was achieved. So we recommended that clinical trial of chemo radiotherapy for this patient, but he chose, she chose a standard treatment of surgery, finally. Now in the near future, for lower rectal cancer, chemo radiotherapy might be one of the options. Finally, I'd like to show the IEJNET, international topic. The after JNET classification uh, publication, lots of studies revealed the diagnosis of accuracy of JNET in a clinical setting. Uh, similarly, diagnostic accuracy of JNET and the interop of the agreement was studied at NCCH using IE JNET images. Another publication about JNET from our NCC group. Uh, our study revealed that diagnostic accuracy of JNET is good, but uh, just 20% of JNET 2B lesion was finally diagnosed at T1B. Therefore, additional PIT pattern is still necessary. And IE JNET is now organized by Professor Tajiri and Professor Terry Poncho. Uh, Professor Messman and Professor Decker are also one of the important members from ESG side. 
And this is the first collaboration study between JGS and ESGE is now ongoing. So finally, the LSTNG should depth type have some circumferential regions. The best component pit pattern of 5i low regular, or in some part, 5i high grade. Now the end brain AI technology could be observed. 500 times magnification, we could see the nuclei ATP using this technology. And endocytoscopic diagnosis, EC3A. End brain diagnosis, the neoplasty. And using ESD technique for this region, Embryo resection completed. For this kind of region, conventional EMR is really impossible. Histology showed the interim co uh, causal cancer. Muscularism causa invasion in the depressed component, but lymphovascular invasion negative. But in grade one, the curative resection was achieved. This kind of region was treated by surgery in the past because of the technical difficulty. So, ladies and gentlemen, JNET type 2B without invasive pit pattern is a good indication for embryo dissection using EMR or ESD technique, i.e. JNET is now ready to start for international collaboration study. And AI technology will support our eye diagnosis in the near future. Thank you very much.